I'm Ollie at iDoc.uk and in this video we're going to take a look at this Samsung A125, A12, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to replace the screen with a genuine Samsung service pack. You can see here the phone's pretty beat up but that's not a problem. We'll start off by removing the SIM tray so that we can remove the back cover. Pop that out and keep it safe for later and then get a plastic pick and starting from the SIM tray area you can get in the gap between the the screen bezel and the back cover. Just be careful when you get around the lock button because there is a flex cable there, but once that's up, you can just pop the back cover off. With the back cover removed, there is a flex cable for the lock button. Just disconnect that with the plastic spudger. And then there's six screws for the plastic cover covering the logic board. As usual, it's important not to lose any of these screws, so keep them in a safe place. And then pop the plastic cover off with some tweezers. Disconnect the battery flex, then remove the single screw underneath the rear camera. Disconnect the display flex and pull the logic board with the coaxial cable still attached out of the way. Don't pull it too hard because the other end of the coax cable is still attached to the subboard. Remove the seven screws holding down the plastic cover for the subboard, and again, keep them safe and then the plastic cover is clipped on either side of the board disconnect the display flex this subboard was really covered in gunk so i just used some contact cleaner to clean it up with a toothbrush and then pry up the subboard it was stuck down quite well so just pull it up carefully now moving on to the battery Drop some isopropyl alcohol in, in, in between the gap and then leave it five minutes before getting a suction cup and carefully pulling up on the battery. If it's not pulling up straight away, give it another few minutes to let the isopropyl sink in. Now we get our genuine Samsung service pack out of the box and we're gonna play a game of spot the difference just to make sure that we've moved over all the correct components And we can see the loudspeaker ear speaker is already attached to this one, but the vibration motor isn't. So I just dropped some alcohol underneath that and then pry it up to pop it out with the tweezers. Everything we need removing now is gone. So we can start putting back together our Samsung A12, starting with the vibration motor, installing the logic board, Make sure the camera sits inside properly and then install the one screw. Now it's time for the subboard. Drop that into place and connect the flex cable. Then reclip into place the plastic cover. Reinstall the seven screws from earlier. and make sure that the coaxial cable is tucked into its little groove that it, that it lives in. Reinstall the battery, and then the flex cable can be connected to the top board. We can now connect our battery and reinstall the plastic cover along with the six screws. Once they're all secured, we can reattach the flex for the power button and then drop our back cover into place. Apply some pressure to the back, make sure there's no obstructions underneath it at this point, but that should clip back into place really nicely before reinstalling the SIM card. And then we can turn the phone back on and we can see that it's working perfectly fine. This has been another repair video from Ollie at iDoc2UK. Thank you for watching. I hope it's provided you some value. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment if there's anything that you want me to explain more or you want to see a different repair in the future. See you next time.